<clears throat> Hello, Sham again. How are you? Hi, teacher. Hi. I'm glad to see you on here again. Hi. But I can't uh, every day uh, join your classes because there is a power outage around here. Oh, really? And that's why I cannot every day. So I'm glad to I'm catching up today. Yes. It's okay, it's okay, Sham. It's good that you can join us when you can. Don't put pressure on yourself. Don't put pressure on yourself. Okay. Welcome, Johnny. How are you? <clears throat> Sorry, my voice. Hi, teacher. Good to see you. Good to see you. Where have you been? We missed you. Oh, yes. It's because your your class is very late in my country now. So sometimes I, I can watch and sometimes no. <laughs> but oh. it's a great class. Yeah, because... It's like two o'clock in the morning there, isn't it? Am I right? No, you are wrong because it's I'm four a.m. Yeah. Oh, four! I was nearly there. You have to give me credit. I was nearly there, two o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome okay. to the class, Johnny. It's so good to see you on here. Very happy. Thank so you. I am. Very good. I can oh. hear you. I hear him. Sorry. You can't really. Okay. He's in okay. the in the room with us. Yes, yes, he is. Yeah, he is. Okay, welcome, guys. How are you? Hi. We are Hi. Hi. Yes, it's so. I'm happy to see you guys again. How's everyone been? Everyone been good? Pretty good. Yes. Yeah, pretty yeah, good. Yeah. good. Good. Okay, so let's see. Let's start with introducing uh, introducing everyone. Um, so we all know my name is Sakina. I think everybody knows me, right? Uh, yes. Yes, I think so. Uh, so welcome to the class, guys. It's going to be reading and writing today with advanced. Um, so yeah, it's going to be something interesting to talk about. Okay, guys, so if we can introduce yourselves, that would be great. And also, if you can please tell me what do you dislike about your job? Two points. What do you dislike about your job? Okay, so we can start with uh, if you can uh, introduce yourself and then just please um, tell us what do you dislike about your job? Okay. I am Saad. I am from Turkey. I teach Turkish. The thing that makes like the thing is sometimes students are sleeping in the class. They don't ask questions. Really? Oh, actually. <laughs> It's a sign of sleeping sometimes. Yeah. And when they ask questions, uh, uh -huh. it leads the class comes very good. And I th actually, it's not a big thing. The uh -huh. bigger thing is, you know, teaching online. Every class, you had different students. Uh, yes. They all had different levels. Sometimes somebody else comes to class who doesn't know anything, and you have something different plan for the class so it becomes difficult yes imagine that would be difficult but your students so what I would do if I was you sir bit, I would get them all up and start jogging around the class to wake them up that's what I would do <laughs> yes <laughs> get them doing that I used to do that with my students I would get them to just stand in one place if they weren't listening <laughs> and until their legs got tired <laughs> then I would say, okay, so now you need to listen. That's what I would do, yeah. I was pretty cruel in Egypt when I was teaching, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. But I loved my students. They were really nice, yeah. Yes. Okay, so thank you, Servet, for that. Adela, welcome. How are you? Uh, fine, thanks. I am Adela. I'm from Spain. Uh, I am a biologist and I work as a teacher in oh, a vocational okay. training school. And... Um, uh, I dislike uh, about my job uh, bec uh, sometimes the relationship with the students is uh, a little problematic uh, because uh, the behavior uh, uh, in classroom uh, is not uh, good. Uh, they um, play uh, with the smartphone. Uh, Mm. Uh, they use the WhatsApp <laughs> or the, oh. uh, they text uh, because uh, uh, they um, they are uh, 20 or more age. Uh, this is uh, yeah. the, the behavior is not uh, is not good uh, sometimes. 
That would be really tough. Yeah, what I would do, if I was you, Adela, just take the phones off them. Before they start the class, right, everybody, phones, please. And then put them away. That's what I would do. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so we have two teachers in the house. Well, welcome. We have something in common, guys. Woo! -hoo. Excellent. And a feature one. Sorry? In a future one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Adela. I'm glad you can join the class. Thank you. Thank okay, you. Ahmed. Hello again. Okay. So Ahmed, you're a student. So let's see. What do you, maybe we can ask you a different question? Um what did you dislike about your teacher in Egypt? We can ask you that. Hi, Kenza. Uh, I hate students. Not not just me, but the, a lot of uh, a lot of students hate that uh, in Egypt uh, uh, the students uh, don't love uh, teachers because it's uh, too nervous uh, with us and uh, uh, they everywhere. Yeah, we 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 see him. We see we see him in everywhere in school and in our home in. You, you know me. Uh, yeah. You understand me. Yes, yes, Egypt, yes. The, you know, yeah. So basically, the, you're seeing your teacher everywhere. Is that what you're trying to say? I not teachers us, but the book in every box in everywhere, and the teachers. We we go to school, and then we go to the teacher uh, uh, in our home. Uh, to, uh, to learning again, again, again. Oh, right, okay. So it's uh, repetitive. Learning, 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 right? Ha. Huh. Okay, thank you, Ahmed, for that. Okay. Beethoven, welcome to the class. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you, teacher. How good. You? I'm good. I'm good, Beethoven. I'm glad you can join. Okay. So if you can please tell me, Beethoven, what do you dislike about your job? Okay. Actually, uh, I have no job. Uh, my first job okay. is uh, I'm a communication electronics engineer, and I'm searching for a job. What You're searching. Yes. Okay. Okay, that's okay, Beethoven. Okay, so hopefully you'll find a job soon, and then you can tell us what you dislike about your job. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you, Beethoven. Okay, Ching, welcome to the class. You're new. Hi. Okay, how are um, you? Pretty good, how are you? I'm good, Ching. I'm glad you can join my class. My name is Sakina, by the way. Okay. Okay, so what do you dislike about your job? Um, I'm actually just graduated from high school and I don't have a job right now. Mm, okay, so you're also a graduate. Well, like I said to, be ho uh, like I said to Beethoven, um, when you do find a job, you can share with us what you dislike about your job. Okay. Okay. Okay, Diego. Welcome to the class. How are you? Good morning. I'm fine. Uh, I am. I'm. I am from Madrid. You know, but uh, you know, but uh, I am consultant and I am working in this activity for twelve years, more or less. Mm -hmm. And uh, I like uh, to get uh, contact with my customer and to do a good project for, for them. Very good. So what do you dislike about your job, Diego? Uh, the dislike when uh, I don't find uh, a project because uh, the, the, the mean is uh, that uh, I don't have money and it is very important to continue with, with our activities. Okay, right, okay. Thank you for that, Diego. Okay, Heidi, what about you? Welcome to the class again. Thank you very much. Nice to mm -hmm. see you again. Yes, and you My too. name is Heidi from Japan. It's not my job, but I'm teaching Japanese for, to a few of foreigners. Mm, I love that uh, job, but um, if I say something bad, maybe my English skill. I can't explain. Sometimes it happened. I can't explain about the Japanese. Mm -hmm. the music. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe you have you have loads to tell us, Heidi, right? <laughs> <laughs> and even I can't hear other students asking in English. 
<laughs> okay, Heidi. All right. Um, okay, so we'll move on. Thank you, Heidi. So uh, let's see. Johnny. Johnny, what about you? Okay. Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Johnny. I am 18 years old. I'm from Brazil. Uh, at the moment, I don't have a job because I left my job to study, you know. So mm -hmm. at the moment, see, I prefer to just study, you know. Okay. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you for that. Okay. Uh, Ro Rosgar, did I pronounce your name properly? Rosgar. Rosgar, yes. I yes. was nearly there, right? Yes. Uh, hello, everybody. <laughs> Okay, so if you can introduce yourself, okay. Rosgar, and what do you dislike about your job if you have a job? Okay, uh, hello everybody. My name is Rosgar. I am from Kurdistan, Iraq. Uh, I'm 23, and I'm agriculture engineer. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes I like my job. Sometimes I don't like uh, my job because uh, I go out uh, more. Uh, too much sun. Too much hot, <laughs> like mm. I can imagine you're outside all the time. Uh, yes, I, I work uh, in my country, but uh, my company from UK. Uh, mm. Right. Yes. Okay. I'm from the UK. Yes. Yes. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. Well, you have an interesting job. I think I would like that job. That would be cool. Working outside. Uh, yes. Mm. Uh, I don't like my job. Uh, before, when I'm from uh, Baccalaureate, uh, I like uh, go to uh, English department mm -hmm. uh, and will become to a uh, translator, but uh, I mm. didn't have chance for this. <laughs> okay, well hopefully soon you will get to. Inshallah. Inshallah, definitely. Okay, thank you for that. Thank you for joining and welcome. Okay, guys, for, for those who don't know me, my name is Sakina. I'm I've been with Kalingo two weeks now. Um and I love it. I really enjoy teaching everybody. It's great to meet new people from different countries. Um, so yes, I'm going to be taking the reading and writing class today. It's advanced level, guys. So um I hope you guys are prepared. Is everyone prepared? Yes? Yes, yes, yes. Yes? Okay, excellent. Okay, we'll start. Uh, basically, I'm going to screen share a document, so just bear with me, guys. Okay, guys, now before we start, can we please, can I ask you for a favor? Can you please mute your microphone, please? Yeah? Excellent. Okay, great. Okay guys, so basically we're going to read an article about a teenager that makes millions with a news application. So do we know the meaning of millions? Yes, million dollars or million Yes, pounds. yes, very rich. So basically a millionaire, yeah. Okay, so we're so this article is basically about this young teenager. Okay, so if we can start reading, but before we start reading, um, is there any words that you can see um, that I need to explain to you? Any vocab words that you're unfamiliar with? I, I prefer we read the first and the uh, okay. okay. Take yeah, care that's of fine. Uh, after no problem. Okay, guys. Thank you, Johnny, for that. Okay, Johnny, since you, you're the first one to talk, can you start reading for us then? Okay. Teenagers make millions with new Apple. A British teenager has become a multi-millionaire after selling one AP uh, he created to Abby Glenn to Yahoo. The deal is reported to be worth up to... 30 million and included position work on Real Real Futures mobile projects. Nick de Aloisio, 17, started his family happy when he was just 15. Okay, thank okay. you, Johnny. So, yeah, we'll just okay. stop there. So, guys, are there any words that we're unfamiliar with I can just explain to you? 
Everyone understand it so far, yeah? Before we move yes. on? Okay. Survey. Um, yes. Okay, I've got your message on the chat. We'll go through it now. So basically, we're just going to finish the passage, and then we're going to go through the words. So um, survey, if you can read the rest, uh, continuing from just 15. Okay. He was studying for exam, for school exams, and became frustrated at plow, plow, plowing. plowing through yes. lengthy online articles. He created the app to summarize long reports so people could more easily digest the content. Okay, so I'll just stop you there, sir, a So plowing means to make or form, to make something. Okay, there are two meanings we can use. And um, with farmers, when they plow the soil, mm -hmm. you know, when we get flower, uh, when we get farmers, they they're plowing the soil for crops. When they're planting crops, they have to plow the soil. So this is the word that we use for farmers. And also, it's another meaning of to make or form, to form something. Okay. 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 So keep reading, servant. Sorry for that. No. Uh, he created the app to summarize long reports so people could more easily digest the content. Yahoo's buzz of mobile mobile content development, Adam Chahan said, it started with an insight that we live in a world of constant information and need new ways to simplify how we find the stories that are important to us at a glance. Okay, thank you, Servet, for that. Okay, um, Adela, if you want to read the rest from here, please. Teacher? Yes, Johnny. Uh, yes, before of that, uh, can you explain us what it means? Uh, digest? digest? Digest the content, yes. Yes, yeah, so basically, you know, it's just the same thing when we eat food, when we, when we digest our food. So it's okay, like digesting, gotcha, it's gotcha, like, yeah. yeah, it's like digesting yes. the information, yeah. Okay, thank okay. you. Okay, Johnny, okay. What about yeah. insight? Insight, so basically something we're seeing insight. It's something that we're seeing. Okay. Yeah, it's something that we're looking at, okay? Okay. So it started with uh, insight, so something that we're going to see, that will, that we live in a world, okay? Okay. So, Adela, if you want to go ahead and read, Teacher? Yeah. Yes? Yeah, you start? Okay, what? Oh, sorry. It's okay. Uh, Roscoe, do you have a, a question? Roscoe? Uh, uh, yes. Uh, what is the meaning for it? Sorry, if you can well, type it in the chat box. Uh, I can hear you. Okay. If you can just type it in, that would be great. Just type it in the chat box, please. Okay. 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 So, um, okay. We'll just wait until. Oh, frustrated and um, confused. Another word for confused. Confused. So I'll give an example. Okay. I am Thank you. I am frustrated with my computer because. It keeps shutting down. Yeah. Okay. Confused. Yes, I understand. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Okay, no problem. Okay, so Adela, if you want to start reading for us, please. Mr. Dailosio started coding when he was uh, 12 uh, years old and developed the bulk of the Samni app in this bedroom. He launched his app uh, when he was uh, f 15, and it soon attracted over 1.5 million dollars of investment, including from Hollywood star Aston Kutcher and Steph Fry. Thank you, Adela. Does anyone know the actors uh, Ashton Kutcher and Stephen Fry? Anyone know? No. Yes. No, we're not. Yes, Beethoven. Just uh, Ashton Kutcher. Yes. yes. Ashton Kutcher. I, yeah, I know Aston Kutcher as well, but Stephen Fry, I don't know who he is. I don't know. Maybe if we have time, we can have a look and see who he is. I don't know. But Aston Kutcher, yes, he's a famous 
Hollywood star, yeah. Okay, so thank you, Adela, for that. Okay, so let's see. Um, Ching, if you can go ahead and start reading from the acquisition. Um, where, where's, the, where's the lie? Okay, so I'll just highlight it for you. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, so it's the acquisition. The acquisitions by Yahoo makes the British teen one of the world's youngest self-made millionaire. He believes that he's tied up with Yahoo is perfect, saying, To me, Yahoo is the best company to be joined right now because it's one of these classic internet companies. Okay, very good. So guys, um, are we aware of acquisition? Yes. Okay, so, so who wants to explain what acquisition means? Like something you acquire, you gain. Yes, very good, yeah. It's like a, a purchase. It can be a purchase or an asset. Okay, guys, do we understand that word? Thank you, Serve, for that meaning. Okay. So let's see, any other words that we are unfamiliar with before we finish the passage? Okay, let's move on. Okay, so the next one, let's see. Um, Diego, if you want to go ahead and read my highlighted of course. part. Mm -hmm. It's uh, okay. With new leadership from uh, Marisa Meyer, Yahoo has a strong focus on mobile and products. And that's the perfect uh, fit for some Okay, so guys, are we? Thank you, Diego. Are we all aware of what Yahoo is? Yes. 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 Search engine. yes. yes. It's a search engine. Yeah. So, does anyone use Yahoo, or I think everybody is more with Google, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. A anyone use Yahoo? I yes, use both. Yes, sir. Uh, Google have win, have, win, have won the battle, I think. Okay, yeah. Um, so I would use Google more, I think, because I'm so used to Google. All the time I'm with Google. So I hardly use Yahoo. Very similar to Google. Yeah, I, th I think, yeah, I do think, Heidi, they're all similar. They're all the same. I think so. But I think, you know, I think Google is more um, commercialized. In Japan, Yahoo is a major. Really? Yes, much more popular than uh, Google. Oh my god, I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, what is in Japan? Yes, yes, in Japan. Yeah, Heidi's from Japan. <laughs> okay, so guys, we're moving. I just, I just use uh, where the account mail I think yeah, for Yahoo but when I try to find information I try to use the Google you know. yeah I think Google uh, would be more specific in the information but I think Yahoo would be the same I haven't actually tried Yahoo so maybe yeah. I should try it <laughs> Yahoo Japan yeah Japanese Japanese is very convenient Right, I can imagine. I might try Yahoo Heidi and compare <laughs> and see sure. which one. Yes? Uh, what is the meaning of uh, Zord uh, Somli? Somli, it's basically an application. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like a name of an application, I think, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, guys. So, uh, if somebody can basically sum up of the article, so... Uh, if somebody can maybe briefly describe the article that we've just read. Anyone want to share? No? Me? Yes, Servet. So basically, can you tell us what the article is about? Like a brief. Yes. Um, There's, a little, There's somebody who started writing an application at. When he was at 12 years old, the application summarizes articles and Yahoo buys the application and the boy who wrote the application gets very rich, 
1.5 million and he thinks it's a good match with Yahoo and he's happy and Yahoo is happy probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. So this, this teenager, he's so young and he's a multi-millionaire. So this guy is an excellent programmer. So he programmed his own application. So that's pretty good. Yeah, I think that's fascinating. That's a, an interesting article. Does anyone like the article? Did you like the article? Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah? I read the, it's um, in Brazil. That's really interesting. It's interesting, yeah. There was another article I wanted to show you guys. Maybe I can do it next week about a baby that got stuck in a sewage. Oh. Yeah, a lit. Uh, that's very bad. And basically, the little baby was in the sewage for three days and survived. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Amazing, huh? So next week, maybe we can read that one. Okay? I know that news. <laughs> yeah, in you China. heard of it, Heidi? Yeah. It is in China. Uh, yeah. I, well, yes, it was. I think so. It was in China. Yes, it, I saw the video on uh, YouTube. Oh, really? Oh, my God. Did you? How was the video? Um, I found it in uh, some uh, news website. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah. uh, it has some YouTube video. Oh, wow. Maybe I might look on the YouTube and see the baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. It's amazing how we can survive these type of incidents. Okay, guys. So we'll move on. Okay. So we're going to uh, basically answer the statements true or false. So the first one, um, let's see. Beethoven, you want to do the first one? Read out the first statement, please. Okay. Uh, a teenager sold an application to Google for around 30 million. Okay. Is that true or false? I think it's uh, true. Yeah. Everyone agree? 30 million? False. Yeah. No, it's true. not to Google. Google or Google? Yeah. <laughs> it's a tricky one. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was with Yahoo. Yeah, it's really tricky. So the statement would be or false. False. Yeah. False. Yeah, they're trying to trick you out. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for that. Okay, so who wants to do the next one? Adela, you want to do B? Yes, uh, the teenager Nick Dalosio also land a job at uh, Yahoo. True or false, Adela? I think false, no? Uh, is uh, bueno, uh, they are an investment, no? To uh, and uh, true. And what? You, yes, I think it's true. Yeah. yeah, I think they got he got a job it, with Yahoo eventually. Yeah, but so I it would be. It is, it is false. You think it's false, Diego? Because uh, is a is true is false. Mm -hmm. uh, B when uh, sentences say also mm -hmm. uh, is false, no? Because he only uh, sold the solution to Yahoo, no? I think he also got the job as well. They promoted him a job. Yeah, I think so. Yes. Yeah. So it would be true, guys. We all agree. Yes. Okay. Yes. So Johnny, you want to do C for us? Okay. Nick thought of the apple after getting fed up with long only test. Okay. It's true. It's true. Yeah, everyone agree there? Yes. Yeah. yeah, it's true. Very good, Johnny. Okay, so let's see the next one. Chain, you want to do D, please? Letter okay. D. The Yahoo Ball said we need more than a few glances to look at names. What do you think? True or false? False. False. Okay, guys, do we agree there? It's false. It's false. Okay, yeah, I think it's false. Okay, very good. Okay, let's see next one. Um, uh, A's, E's, welcome to the class. How are you? Hi. I'm uh, glad I'm you can join us. Uh, what? I'm glad you can join us. Have you been following on the lesson? Thanks. Uh, 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 yes. You want to do um, letter E for us? Okay. 
Nick started coding, uh, coding when he was just seven years old. Uh, false. False, yes. Yeah. So what age was he when he started to code? Um, twelve. I think. Actually, yes, I think. twelve, yes, twelve, yes. yes. Yeah, thank you, Is. Very good. Excellent. Okay, F, um, let's see, Rosgar, if you can do F for, for us, please. Yes, teacher. People invested more than uh, one million five uh, one five million dollar in his product when he was fifteen. Okay. What do you think? <laughs> That's uh, false. False. Yes. Okay, guys. Do we agree true. there? True. 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 Yeah, I, I think it's true because if we look at the passage. Um, if we go up again, uh, we see the 1.5 million of investment. So I think it's true. Okay. Okay. Good attempt. Good attempt. Okay. So let's move on to the next one. If I can find it, where have I been? Hang on, guys. I think I've gone too far down. Uh, okay. There's a lot of exercises here <laughs> to do. Okay, so let's see. What letter were we on? Okay, G. Um, let's see. Uh, B, uh, let's see. Who didn't have a go? Okay, Diego, you want to do letter G? Yes, of course, uh, Sakina. Uh, Nick is the world's youngest uh, multimillionaire. Okay. Uh, uh, I think that it is False. I, I am not sure, but I think that it is uh, it is impossible. Okay. Uh, false. 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 Does everyone agree? I agree because uh, he is one of the youngest. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So let's. Re Does everyone agree that it's false? Yes. Okay. So Nick is the world's youngest multimillionaire. Okay, so someone try and find it. Okay, so we have here. I think, guys, it could be true. What do you guys think? Yes, so we see. In, in the text, you can see a. Uh, so uh, one of the mo the world youngest, well, uh, not just the world youngest, you know. Yeah. So are you still agreeing that it's true or false? It's false. It's false. Okay. So we have it here. The acquisition. Yep. Yeah. Johnny, you've got it right. Yeah. Okay. So Diego, very good. Okay. So we'll move back down. Thank you very much. Sabine. Very good, Diego. Okay, so if I can find it again, guys, I keep losing it. <laughs> okay, so the last one. Uh, let's see. Ching, if you want to do the last one, letter H. Nick believes his partnership with Yahoo is perfect. Okay, what do you think? Mm, true. True? Does everyone agree there? I think he is happy in with Yahoo. Mm, yes. Yeah? yeah? Okay. Very good. Excellent uh, chain. Thank you. Okay. So, guys, we're going to move on to exercise two. Okay, guys. So, everyone is aware of the opposites. Cinem match. We all are aware of cinems. War. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so let's start. Okay, Is, you want to go ahead and do worth? So which one of these words? Um, Why not? Waiting. No. Uh, value it at? Valued at. Yes, excellent. Yes, it's valued at. Well done. Well done, Is. Okay, Heidi, you want to do the next one? Deal? Deal. Another word for deal. Zero. Agreement. Agreement, yes, very good. Okay, um, Adela, plowing. Another word for plowing. 
Bit of a tricky one there. Anybody want to help? What it just means? I'm sorry. Plowing. It's basically to make something, to make or form something. Purchase. Purchase? No, not exactly. Create. Create, yeah, it's to create something, yeah. Ah, programming, programming. Mm, not exactly. Okay, what we're gonna do? We'll leave plowing to the last, okay? And then it will it will be a bit easier for us to think. Okay, what words will match plowing? Okay, so let's do the fourth one. Wedding. Adela, you you want to try and do the fourth one then? Digest. A uh, wording. Wording. Not exactly. No. No, uh, no, not exactly. Uh, no. So digest. Remember, it's to take in something. Hey. Understand. Understand? Uh, yes, everyone agree. Yes, I think it's right. Well done, Heidi. Excellent. Okay, so the next one, number five. Who wants to have a go? I'll go. Okay, go on ahead, Ching. It's going to go with um, C, brief look. Brief look? Yes, I think that is correct. Very good. Excellent, Ching. Thank okay, you. who wants to do the next one? I think this is pretty easy. <laughs> <laughs> Coding. Programming. Programming, yes. Thank you, Adela. Yep. I think that was the easiest one, right? <laughs> okay, uh, Rataj, welcome to the class. You want to try and do number seven? Investment. So we have to think of a word from this part that will go with investment. Another word for investment. Okay, anyone else want to have a go? Funding. Funding? Yes. Yeah. Yes, very good, Heidi. Excellent. Okay, what about this one? Acquisition. Purchase. Purchase, yes, Adela. Good. Very good. What about tie up? Let's try. Um, Diego, you want to try and do number nine? Diego, you want to try do number nine? Okay, Johnny, you want to try and do number nine? Uh, tie up. Mm. So tie up, yeah, it's a bit of a tricky one there. So just think of the words that we've already used. So I apologize, but I don't know. Sorry. Sorry, I've moved this thing. Okay, anyone want want to relationship? Relationship? Yeah. Match? No, it, it's for Match. Fish. Relationship. 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 Yeah, okay, very good. Excellent. Okay, the last one. Fit. Who can tell us what the opposite of fit is? Another word. Match. Match, yes. I think that was pretty easy, wasn't it? <laughs> very good, guys. Excellent. Okay, so now we're left with plowing, and we're left with what word is left? What then? Waiting, yeah. So basically, plowing is another word of waiting. Okay. Uh, waiting, it's like uh, um, uh, the waiting. I don't know what you mean waiting. Okay, basically, it's another word of plowing. So it's to make or form something. Okay. Yeah, it can have two meanings. Yeah, it can have a meaning of when farmers when they're plowing the soil for yeah. crops yeah. to be planted in and then another meaning can be to make or form something okay 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 guys you've done really well really well okay so now what we're gonna do I'm going to pickle your brains <laughs> okay so of course it's reading and writing so what I, I what I want you guys to do is to do a writing exercise so let me just scroll down. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do, so I want you guys just to discuss. So I want you to write a few lines about students. 
Should students have coding lessons at school every day? Should students be taught programming every day at school? And why? Yes or no? And then explain your answer. Do you think it's important? Give us an example. Yes, yeah, so basically, um, we can say uh, students. Um, so, Johnny, programming. Are you aware of programming? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So basically, if you had children, would you want your children to learn programming at school? Do you mm. think it's beneficial? Do you think yes. it's? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's. Uh, oh. They. Uh, they need to to learn it. Okay. So why is? Can you give us a reason why? To, to do uh, programs, to create to programs and uh, mm -hmm. create, uh, not know. Yeah. It's important. They, they yeah. Get the it's an important know. thing. It's mm -hmm. an important thing. It is important, is definitely. Because if we can teach our students programming, then they could maybe later on be a millionaire, like this teenager that we've just talked about. Yeah. Okay, Diego, did you want to say something? No, uh, to, to, to have a program it is good because uh, they can learn uh, and to have a methodology and it, uh -huh. is, uh, it is better to, to get uh, or, or to improve uh, their knowledge, no? Okay. They will understand the computer language. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right, yep. I agree on that as well. I do agree programming should be involved in school. Yeah. So anyone else um, disagree with having programming at school? Disagreeing? Well, I have another opinion. I think it's a difficult issue to program in school. At, um, I think it could be better to, to do it this matter uh, on, the, on the high school or later. I think it's more important to learn to, to summarize or to learn to, to division more than programming. It's my humble opinion. It's that your opinion. Yeah, okay, you have a point, Raphael. Okay. Yeah, because programming is quite difficult. It really is. It's, yeah. it's not so difficult to learn it. Mm -hmm. I think some students find it difficult. It could be a very challenging subject at school. Yeah. Does anyone else have any other opinions about programming? Yes, Servet. I think in today's world, children are spending too much time using computer and cell phone and stuff, and most of the time are being spent with playing games. Yes. So, <laughs> If we put programming classes, maybe they have interest in computers. Maybe they can lead this interest into more useful things, uh, fields. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, we have mathematics classes, physics classes in mm -hmm. schools, but usually mathematics is so theoric. You don't apply it anything. But programming mm -hmm. is to know to be a good programmer. You need to, you need to know mathematics, physics very well. Yes. So yes. maybe it's kind of may implementation. It may kind of be exciting because you learn something mm -hmm. and you apply it. Yeah, yeah. You have you have a point there. So do you disagree with having coding lessons at school, Servet? No, I don't. But it shouldn't be too too intense, much. Like maybe one or two hours a week. Yeah, yeah. Not every day. Yes. Not every day. Yeah, you're right there. But I know it. Could, it yeah. It can have its disadvantages, definitely, yeah. Because it's not the only subject. At high school, it should be general education. If you put, like, mm -hmm. it becomes every day, mm -hmm. everybody will be a programmer. But what you yes, do. I know. We'll be, like, pro in programming. <laughs> Thank you, Sarvet, for that. What about Ching? Ching, what is your opinion about programming every day in school? Um, I think it's not necessary. Yeah. Because because it, it really depends on like you you, sh you should have that um, in school, but don't force student to 
to you have to learn that because it depends on your interest. Uh huh. Yes. Yeah. So you're sure. disagreeing with that then? Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. So let's see. Let's move on. Okay. Sahim, welcome to the class. And also, Rafia, welcome. <laughs> so, Sahim, yes. if you can, what's yes. your opinion? What is your opinion on this? Yes, I was just uh, listening to your discussion, but I also agree with you. Uh, this uh, this should be like such a program because this is necessary. Everything is going with uh, such a program next uh, in future. And mm -hmm. business, you can see, and everything with coding. So it's necessary mm -hmm. for uh, students. Uh huh. So you find it necessary. It should yes. be taught. Yes. Okay. Can I? Yes, of course, Johnny. So I agree because you know, in fact, uh, the children can have some benefits. But for example, if my son uh, doesn't feel interested in the subject, so don't have a value, you know. Mm -hmm. so yeah. It's not necessary. Mm, yes, I think maybe every day would be too much. I think maybe, um, like Savre would say, maybe maybe twice a week, not every day. I think that would be too overbearing. Too yes, it can be one it or be boring. Two, two it will be boring. Sorry, is you have a you have something to say? Sorry. If he will, he, if he will study all the days, he will be boring because it's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so oh, is ob okay. obviously you like programming? Do you enjoy programming? Is Yes, yes. Many things with program programming. Yeah. You enjoy it, huh? Yes. Good. <laughs> okay, what about Sham? What is your opinion? You have children, right, Sham? No. <laughs> I'm still single. Oh, you're still single, so you don't have any children. So just pretend if you had children and they were getting taught programming every day. Would you agree no, to that? No, no, I look like it's really not important to do this every day. Yes. Yeah. So we can both plan to, to do this maybe one to hour, one to two hours just in the day. Okay, so you agree on that as well. Yeah, I think that would be, that would make more sense, definitely, yeah. on that, yeah. Okay, guys. Okay, so basically we've discussed um, programming. Okay, and I would like maybe to just do another exercise, guys, before we end the class. Okay, it's an easy one, don't worry. <laughs> okay, so let me find it, guys. Just bear with me. Um, there is a lot of exercises here. I'm trying to find. Okay, guys. And let me just find it. I can't find it. I just had it and now I can't find it. Okay. Um well I hope I can find it. Let's see. Mm hmm Okay guys, so let's do the multiple choice quiz, okay? Uh so the first one, jam. You want to go ahead and do the first one, please? So we have to select which letter belongs to the sentence. Yeah, okay. A British teenager has um, become a multi-millionaire after sharing... Um, I think A, the app that created. Okay, the app he created? Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, very good. Okay. What about the second one? Okay, Is, you want to do the second one? Okay. Included uh, opposition working on Yahoo's. Uh, uh, I think C. C, okay. Future mobile projects. Yes, excellent. Well done. Good. Okay, Chain, what about number three? Okay, frustrated. I. Uh, what lengthy online articles? Thing is, A. A, yes, plowing through lengthy online articles. Yes, very good. Excellent, Ching. Okay, yes. Servet. Yes. Number four. You want to try number four? Yes, it started blank. 
that we live in a world of constant information. It started with an insight. Yes, very good. Insight, excellent. Well done. Okay, number five. Raphael, you want to try and do number five? Yeah. Simplify how we find the stories that are important to us at a glance. At a glance. Yes, very good, Raphael. Okay, number six, uh, Sahin. Uh, but you yeah. want to try and do number six? Okay, we can hear Sahin. Can everyone yeah. hear Sahin? No. Yes, I'm here. Yes, I'm here. Okay, you want to try and do number six? Yeah. Yes, of course. Uh, I can hear my voice in the background, <laughs> echoing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe it's your calling us. Yeah. Yes, I think someone has the second window open. Who is that naughty person? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, but I can't see the exercise. Where is that? Oh, you can't see it. Really? Yeah, yeah, number six. Okay, oh, I'm no, sorry. No, no. Okay, I'll just highlight it for you. Just to make it easy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, status coding, yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, but uh, where is the exercise? I'm not, I can't see oh, there. Okay, so basically we have to select which um, yeah, yeah, set, yeah. which part belongs to the uh, sentence. When, did, uh, when he, is, uh, he was 12 years old, and uh, this is uh, some application of bedroom. Uh, uh, I think anyone uh, want to help? What do you think? We can take a guess, Sahin. We can take a guess. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. It's still calling when he was 12 year old. Uh huh. Uh, who's doing that? Okay, so basically, have you been watching the whole lesson, Sahim? No? Okay, well, Sahim, it's okay. You can just observe because um, we're kind of running out of time. So maybe next time, hopefully, you can join in the exercises, okay? Okay, so let's see. Johnny, if you can do number six. Okay. Uh, the Eloise started on the when uh, we was 12 uh, years old and... Uh, let me see. Something, something. Um, well, <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe the first one, letter A, develop the, the bulk, bulk of, of his Somni yes. app. Okay, yes, I think I'm not sure, right. but it's a kick. <laughs> okay, yeah, well, I think you're right there, Johnny. Very good, excellent. Okay, so we'll just quickly do the last one. Who wants to try and do the last one for us? Anybody volunteer? Right. No? <laughs> I, I yeah. can volunteer, for example. Okay. okay, Diego, you can go ahead and do the seven. Seven. He launched uh, his APP when he was uh, 15 and uh, it soon attracted over 1.5 million of people. Yes. Excellent. Well done, Diego. Last one. Excellent. Okay, guys, we'll have to wrap it up, unfortunately. It was great teaching you guys. Um, so I'll see you soon in the next class. Hopefully you can join my lovely class. I love yes. having you guys. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, you take care now. Look after yourselves. Bye. Bye. Bye now. Bye.